we didn't stop working at all. We've been at work like there's no issue, or there's no pandemic going on. So they're making us work for our money. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for whispering. I am on 24 hour watch or 24 hour duty. That's when you stay up for a whole day, sit at a desk on base and guard what we call barracks, which are like living quarters for so, um, for soldiers and some um, sergeants. Uh, I got a couple of questions on my Instagram about my job and what I do in the army because I didn't really specify in my first video. So I wrote a couple of them down. Well, I wrote all of them down so I could just answer them. So hopefully you guys can hear me. All right, the first question is, what is your job and is it hard? So I am a 25 Bravo, that's the code for it, but it really means I'm IT, I'm help desk, I'm geek squad for the army. So if your computer's messed up, I fix it. If you need a port activated to access internet, that's me. If you need your printer to be put on your computer, that's me. If you need your phone hooked up, that's me. If your computer needs to be wiped clean, that's me. Do you, anything computer-wise, that's what I work on. And it's not hard, it's very repetitive. Everyone asks for the same thing. Next one is, how is physical fitness for the females? Now, physical fitness, in my opinion, is hard because well, I suck at PT. I, I'm not gonna lie, I suck at PT. Because I suck at PT, I make sure I'm good at my job. Because you can't suck at PT and be mediocre at your job. So I excel at my job so I can suck at PT and no one say anything to me. Is it hard being a female in the army? I can like that kind of chimed in the second question about PT, but I don't think it's hard being a female in the army. Now, I will say that because you're female in the army, a lot of men will make a pass at you you know because you work around the opposite sex there's testosterone and estrogen flowing but because the army is so small a lot of females when they get with someone you know and then they go to another duty station you're bound to see the people that you um you hook up with again because the army the people might think the army is so big but we're very small so you're bound to see that person again and you kind of it's like high school if you mess up your reputation you kind of mess it up the whole way through in my opinion that that's how i feel so i don't i don't think it's hard being a female in the military but it's it's easy to have your name thrown around for whatever reason how is the quarantine affecting you i have other friends at other duty stations that aren't at work but where i'm located i mean we didn't stop working at all we've been at work like there's no issue or there's no pandemic going on so they're making us work for our money so it hasn't really affected us because we've been at work it might affect us civilians from coming on post but it hasn't affected my unit and my job because we're there how long have you been in i've been in five years five years yeah mark that pass i've been in five years is this your first duty station no i was actually stationed in hawaii before this are you re-enlisting and if you are where to next so i did re-enlist i re-enlisted for four more years and i did one here and then i'm doing three somewhere else now i'm not gonna say where i'm going yet until i get my hard copy orders and then or my paperwork saying where i'm gonna go next and then i'll announce it to you guys but i did re-enlist i did that because I didn't want to spend my time here for Campbell. I just, I felt as if, I don't know. I just didn't like it here. For my personal experience, I didn't like it here. And I knew that you have to be here for at least two years before you can PCS. And I was like, well, I want to relist to go somewhere else. So I relisted, but yeah, I, I didn't like it here. And I also, I didn't want to get out because a lot of people get out and don't have a plan. And I'm in school to become a nurse. So I wanted to make sure, and people that you can use your, your, your GI Bill when you get out, but I didn't want to use it. I wanted them to pay for my school while I'm in. So I relisted because I want to make sure I have my degree before I get out so I can support my daughter. If I don't have my degree by the three years that I'm supposed to get out, then of course I'll do IT until I have my nursing degree and then switch over. But those are all the questions. 
please let me let me know if you guys have any more questions like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys later okay bye